what's up my Fina loves it's miss Fina d coming to you all from Fina tim news i stopped watching love and hip-hop a while ago okay but something happened recently on a show that is a hot topic every time i attempted to talk about it i basically missed it and i was just like you know what it's been a few weeks it's an old story move on but something just happened today it's making it current news again so i'm like okay let's go ahead perfect timing to talk about it so most of you at this point are aware that Erica Mena and Spice, they got into an argument because, you know, basically Erica Mena, ex-husband Safari, went back and told Spice certain things about their relationship, that they were still sleeping together, and the list goes on and on. You know, Erica and Spice got into a disagreement. At first, it was very calm. Erica was very calm, telling Spice how she loved her and she support her and she's her sister. It was a very pleasant conversation. And then things just went left when Spice said to Erica, why are you behaving like you're the only woman who's been married and divorced or a single mother? I've been doing it for years. And things just went left. And then Spice basically said to Erica, that's why your son, her first child, that's why your son doesn't love you. He doesn't like you. Okay. Now, Erica have said over and over again, the reason why she doesn't post her child is because he wants his privacy. He doesn't want to be bullied and it happened i've seen it with my own eyes when she was married to safari that she posted a few family images and some of the comments were just disgusting and she took them down so i don't blame her for protecting her son from social media and the media in general now of course there are different stories behind the scene that that's a lie and that's a story that erica made up but that as far as custody, her son lives with her mom, allegedly. You know, I'm not here to judge what Erica does as a mother. That's not the focus of this video, so let's stay focused. Being a parent as a mother, father, but in this situation, a mother, your kids are your heart, your pride, your joy, your legacy, your everything, and the list goes on and on. So for someone to say your child doesn't like you, that's going to cut deep. And it did. Erica Mena flipped the table, Spice screaming on one side, Erica screaming on the other side, and you know, Spice wear blue, that's her color and all of that. Spice was sick, she had some health issues, she almost died. She was very open and transparent about this. Erica Mena in the corner started screaming, you know, I wish you had died. It was just terrible. And then she called her a blue and then monkey okay spice was screaming and going in as well but she did not take it to the point where she threw out any racial slurs or anything like that erica mena just took it too far so erica and spice they're separated erica goes outside she starts making noises like a monkey noises and all of that okay now this was filmed this was edited and this was basically shown to everybody Erica was still allowed to go to work, do her job, film, everything, okay? Now, when the backlash happened, then that's when Love and Hip Hop producers, Mona Scott and all of them, decided to step in and let Erica go. But before all of this happened, Spice wasn't sure if the Love and Hip Hop producers were going to show that because of all of the backlash they are receiving right now that led them to then take the action to let Erica Mena go. She was fired, okay? From the next season, they might bring her back. But she hopped on Instagram Live and she just went in on Erica. I did record that Instagram Live, but I ended up not posting it because it took me forever to edit out all of the profanity. So I said, you know what? People can just go on YouTube and find an Instagram live for themselves. Trying to get to the current topic. So most of you already know what happened. So just go ahead and read Erica Mena apology on the screen because she eventually came back and apologized. And at that time when she posted her apology, she left her comments open, the comment section open. And when someone asks her a question, did she apologize to you for bringing up your child? Erica responded, she will never have the guts, unfortunately. Well, Erica Mena is clapping back because Love and Hip Hop producers and Mona and them dropped this image right here about a roundtable discussion. 
about what she said and what happened and also the caption is on the screen go ahead and read it and eric was very disappointed that she wasn't invited to be a part of the conversation about colorism and all of that okay so we're going to get into what she posted in her instagram stories at first and then into her comments under that post she wrote working on love and hip-hop august 25th 2023 three days after august 29th they aired that episode proudly i was even being asked to shoot a scene that monday august 28th so you have comments like y'all are so calculated love and hip-hop atlanta filmed edited aired this altercation with erica mena and spice for views then proceeds to use it as a storyline for upcoming episodes. Talk about taking advantage. Erica being fired from next season and not at this table of education. But y'all continue to use this situation to gain TV ratings. While Spice doesn't get any punishment for provoking. Worse has been said on this show. Disappointed. Lost a viewer. Get the out of here. Why Spice there and not Erica? Before I get to Erica Mena's response, the major issue here is, for me, I do not condone or support what she said. Absolutely not. But the major issue here is this. Had the love and hip-hop producers fired Erica Mena on the spot after that incident, had they, let's just say, left the scene for a few hours, had an emergency meeting, and then wrote on the screen, after this incident, Erica Mena was fired. The reaction would be different. If they said, we fired her, however, to provide a reason why she was fired the very day and on the spot, here's what happened. We do not condone this behavior. Erica Mena was escorted off the premises. She was not allowed back. We do not condone this behavior and she was fired. Then the reaction would have been different. We are just showing you all our side just in case of a lawsuit. We're protecting ourselves, but we reacted instantly. We took action instantly. The reaction would be different, but she was allowed to come back to work. She filmed. Everything was all good. You sat in the editing room and you did what you did. You put the episode out and you waited until you saw the backlash and people reaction. Then she was fired. And that's the reason why people are not believing this whole, oh, let's have a panel and colorism and we care. That's why love and hip hop producers mona and them are not being celebrated the way they expected to be celebrated because people just feel like okay now you're playing our face okay because this girl is allowed to come back to work so don't sit here and pretend like you care you only care now because your sponsors and all of that exactly what i just said the people get it it be giving fake outrage in the comments she should have been fired on the spot just said that Instead of waiting on the social media crusaders before addressing the comment and its intolerance from the black community as a whole. There should have been a pause in regular filming and the following episode should have been a round table. Why now? Exactly my point. Now, of course, you will always have those people who are like, hey, listen, yes, what Erica said was wrong, but you brought up her kid. You bring up my kid. And it's over. I don't care. It's over. You will have those people. But I'm just simply responding to the reason why the producers over there are not getting the applause or the response that they were expecting. Instead, there's a backlash. Portia Williams from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, who's had her share of, you know, both sides. There have been moments where Portia was protected and moments where she wasn't protected. She wrote, common practice to air it and react after. That's when they exercise the so-called reality part of the TV show, right or wrong. When she pulled Kenya more hair, we got to see it. When she went into Cynthia Bailey phase and Cynthia Bailey kicked her, we got to see it. When she attempted to fight her ex-fiance, mother, we got to see it. 
she was calling her names everything is on the screen right now we got to see that however when she chased her former assistant behind a building and allegedly beat her up the screen went black they didn't show us that not because it was dark but they protected her and when she allegedly did something that was going to question her activism for the whole Black Lives Matter movement, all of that, she was able to go to corporate and have them pull that episode, and we did not get to see it. If you are new here, go to our HOA playlist to watch that video. In our Instagram live of Portia herself admitting to that, most of my audience have seen that video a lot of times, so that's why I'm not playing it. And the list goes on and on of all of the other moments that she was protected. So she's seen both sides of that. So I don't think the people who are leaving the other comments are saying, oh, they should have protected Erica and not show it. It's just if you're going to show it, then show it and also take action and hold Erica Mena accountable, fire her, all of that. Don't wait for the backlash. And then now you want to be like, oh, yeah, we're firing her and behave like you care. So now let's get into Erica Mena's second response. I think it's absolutely fair that I speak on this post, especially because I was indeed filming nonstop for seven months after the actual incident between me and that other individual happened. The network chose to still film with me nonstop, which is why I was used as the base storyline for the whole second half of this actual season. They had this footage for months. They chose to edit it how they wanted and air it. It's only now they are desperate trying to save face and using me to do so. If I'm being used to set an example, why was I not a part of this roundtable discussion? Why are they so desperate to film nonstop right now to make up for everything I shot that they can't use now. Desperate to save face, but the true and only reason a statement was even made by the network was because of the backlash she meant. Not because they truly believe what I said was a racial slur. No, Erica, they believed it. They just didn't expect the backlash to be the way that it was also as you've stated in a few of your other statements that you've given love and hip-hop you said 13 years of your life or something like that and so taking the consideration they were probably doing you a favor as well because this is erica minna okay we are not about to fire erica you know she's been here for a long time hopefully this will blow over but then this business they're going to choose their business over you. Now, in their statement, they wrote the next season. They did not release a statement that you are permanently banned from love and hip hop forever. So after you sit next season out, if they do want to bring you back and it's something that you want to do, then you will still have the opportunity to go back. Now, Erica also did lose another job on another network after all of this go ahead and read their statement because i'm trying to get to what spice had to say as well but i do want to say that there are people who also feel like erica mena you know she doesn't have any remorse for what she did even though she did release a statement apologizing because when yandy tried to explain to her why what she said was wrong she became defensive just because you didn't mean it a certain way doesn't mean that what you said wasn't wrong, okay? So hopefully Erica will take the time to understand why what she said was wrong, even though she feels like she didn't mean it that way. Last thing on Erica before I move to Spice apology to her fans and her statement and all of that on the season. Sometimes God be giving us an easy way out and we do not see it. There are some people who are stuck in these terrible contracts, especially on love and hip hop that they cannot get out of. They are constantly showing up to do something that no longer serves them, that no longer makes them happy, that is just a fake storyline. They don't want to be there but they signed a contract and they are stuck and now they have no choice but to be a part of the foolery and play along okay so erica been in a few movies 
She's been doing her thing as an actress. Have I seen her movies? No. But do I visit her page and have I seen clips and videos here and there? Yes. And she is doing her thing on that side. Those people did not release any statement saying that she's no longer going to be working for them or with them. This could be a blessing in disguise where you can start 100% focusing on acting and elevating your career and your life outside of love and hip hop. Because even though you're in all of these movies and you are doing great, love and hip hop and the drama is still overshadowing your growth in these departments and the wonderful things that you are doing. As an actress, it doesn't matter how you behave, it's a movie. Compared to a show where everything might not be your reality, but people are believing it is your reality because they are thinking the show is actually real all the time when it's not. And with all of this going on, Erica was arrested last month. She was at a lounge with some of her friends and they were asked to leave the lounge several times by security, okay? Because there was an altercation or something that happened allegedly, okay? And basically, Erica was charged with willful obstruction of law enforcement officers, and she was also charged with simple battery against a police officer. Now, her best friend, Bambi, did do an interview, and she said in that interview, allegedly, Erica was having a great time. I saw the video. She was jumping around. She was screaming. She was loud. And she was having a great moment with one of their friends. They were having a banter back and forth. That was misinterpreted. So when the security told them to leave or told her to calm down, she did not allegedly listen. Now, Bambi, being a great friend, she ran over there to make sure her best friend was okay because you have this big security guard holding her best friend down and she's making sure that her friend is going to leave that situation alive based on how they were pinning her down and holding her down they told her to leave the area and she basically said no i'm not leaving while you have my best friend pinned down like this i'm going to make sure that we all get out of here safely and so because of that she too got arrested now, she have a mugshot. So, Erica, that's your best friend forever because I don't know how many people will be willing to get a mugshot with you. So, when you're screaming, my ride or die, ride or die, relationships or friendship, well, there you go. Because me, personally speaking, I would have said yes, I would have moved, but made sure I was still in the right position to make sure my friend was and is okay so kudos to bambi for staying by her side and making sure they all left that situation alive spies went low erica went to hell and so that's the reason why she was fired but spies is also catching heat for not only what happened between she and erica but because of what happened this season she was in a lot of mess this season and she realized that so this was her statement. Hey besties, tonight is the final episode of this season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. And I know this season on TV has been a hard one, not just for me, but for you as well. I hate seeing you argue with people about me on social media, especially since you know how I'm always happy and laughing with high spirits all the time. It hurts me deeply to the core, and I'm starting to relive the horrific moments and to see you go through the different phases that I've brought you through. I realize that my near-death experience have brought me through a dark place which left me feeling lost and confused to the point where I don't only question myself and my actions, but I continue to ask God himself why me i don't know how to explain waking up every day wondering if i'm gonna survive the day or even how it feels when someone screams my name and how that frightens me to the point where it brings me back into 
memories of the doctors calling out my name while I was on the breathing machine and my lungs was failing. I'm going to jump around because it's getting really late and I want to get this video up tonight. So she did admit that she's getting help. She's overcoming her traumatic experience and how she, you know, allowed anger to get the best of her. And she also wrote that, you know, I'm extremely sorry for taking you through so much. So she did apologize to her fans, but that she thanked everyone who have been with her through the mud and that she promised to work more on herself spiritually, mentally, so that I can walk into the better version of myself as we complete the rest of this year together. I encourage anyone out there who's going through anything emotionally to seek help and not bottle it all up inside. Estes, I love you all so much. Always remember that God is the master. So much more to say, but too much to type. So there you have it. Hopefully, both women learn something from this situation, especially Erica. Now, I might not do a part two, but there's someone else in this whole story that I did not talk about. I kept it about the ladies, so maybe I might address some things in another video. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. My loves, thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted, and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.